Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm joined here with the one and only. Long time no see. Long time no see, it's been. It's been a few months, It's been it? a few months since we filmed mm. together. And today. I took a break. From what? From being in the videos. Well, I just didn't have a video to film with you. No, but, so I took a break. But anyway, today we're gonna be doing a Taco Bell McBang. <laughs> We just went to Taco Bell and we have got some food and today we're kind of going to be answering questions that we avoid. Not well, not really avoid, but yeah, kind of avoid, I guess. I don't know any of these questions. So I said to Anna on the way, I said, come on then, you know, warn me of a few questions, you know, to, and she won't tell me. So these no, are all like a surprise to me. But if I tell you, then that's not fun. I do have to say, and I know I say it in every video, but it is really warm in this car. And that's called menopause because it's actually yeah. not that warm. I don't You're honestly so think. No, dramatic. I need a tiny bit of air. Like, you are listen so a little dramatic. bit, sipping through there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, Let's get started. I had Boom. something different today at Taco Bell. What'd you go for today? Tacos. I got I one Taco them. Supreme. Cool. They're just the normal tacos that we have. And then I also got a cheese quesadilla because when I was away, I had the best cheese quesadilla and it just really made me crave them. Got the air coming through now. Yeah, add the Diet Coke. Bit of air, lovely. I'm ready to go. Does your mum want you to move out? I'm intrigued with your answer to this one, actually. Yeah. No, because sometimes it's, uh, God, yeah, I just get sick of your mess and everything else. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. But then other times it's like, it hits me and it's like, no, actually, no, I don't want her to go. It's a mixture. It's a mixture for me. Mm. And I guess it's probably like that for you. Or, I mean, the reason... Or you probably totally just want to go. <laughs> no. The reason I'm, like, so eager to more than ever now is because I'm nearly 20 years old and I was saying to mum, if I'd have gone to uni, I would have moved up last year anyway. Yeah. Mum has OCD, so she doesn't let me wash up she doesn't let me do the washing she doesn't let me clean because she has to do it herself i'll let you do your room i don't touch you yeah, but you them to come in and get the washing but you do like you'll washing. strip my bed sheets off like i don't have mm. any like independence by the way she's clinically diagnosed with that we're not just saying like she actually does have ocd so it makes it really hard for me to grow up in that sense so like i really want to be able to move out and have my own space in the kitchen and hoover myself and do all that stuff i can like, really understand that because i like, even cooking and stuff you get stressed out when i'm in the kitchen cooking because it's like mess so so in that sense, I'm like ready to leave. I'm like, get me my own house now. But I'm going to be living on my own. I'm missing you and Attica, so that's mm. going to be weird. Yeah, I think that's just natural, isn't it? It's so, like, we'll miss you. Yeah. But we've already just discussed like, like the train journeys and bits yeah, like that. Yeah, we've already discussed like the journeys and stuff. And I'm still going to have a bedroom at home. Yeah, I'm like, still keeping a bedroom I'm still on. keeping my bedroom. I'm not taking my bed or anything. Like, I'm still going to have my room. So, so she I wants could... to come home at the end of her lease, yeah. whatever, then she can. I could move She'll out always after... always have a home. So, I nothing... could move out after six months and be like, oh, yeah. no, I hate it. Like, I want to go back home. Yeah, okay, that's what a parent, you know, that's all a parent can do. Is like, say, you'll always have a home. Mm -hmm. You know, let let a child spread their wings and just say you'll always have a home if you need it so yeah. are you not asking any ask they're not all mine are they i don't know ask you some questions then you can just scroll through and see what i've got why have you sent that in did you see my question what i said when in? is the amount of board you're paying me rising <laughs> are you kidding i've prepaid you i sent it in as a joke and... are you and byron friends with benefits oh no mm -mm. please tell me that i want a refund no, don't. Where was it? Oh, the tanker. If I find one in my tanker, I'm going in. Why is Attica so conservative? <laughs> I love this. He is. You're right. Oh, he is really conservative. Don't even start saying that because he'll start getting called a Tory. No, but he really is. He's he sick. really is. Yeah, but I know what whoever whoever wrote this means. I do know what you mean, though. Yeah. He is very conservative. He is. He, he's, yeah, he is. He really is. But we're not, though. So I don't understand where he's got that mentality from. So what he comes out with, he gets from me, doesn't he? No, I think he's got a better sense of humour than you. Oh, there's a hair. <laughs> I'm joking. No, don't do that. I'll, I'll, don't, Anna. Don't. There seems to be hairs everywhere to be fair. Don't. I think that's because he's funnier than you. I think he's got this wit about him. Definitely. He's a very funny child. Mm. He's like a 40 year old man in a 6 year old body. Yeah, he is. He's, he is he's got my sense of humour. That red Budweiser jacket. Hate it. Hate was a strong word. Mm. I dislike some of your outfits, but I don't hate them. Actually, what? I'll tell you what I do hate. I know what you're going to say. That fucking lime green skirt. I knew, I knew she was going to say that. You literally love... My Topshop green gingham skirt. Mummy, so I, I love... Okay, you can add Topshop in front of it, making it. It's not going to make me like it. That's a really rare jacket. Mm. It's not going to make you like it. A NASCAR jacket. But I think that I think that skirt was a very odd fashion option. I really do <laughs> like you. You have some really nice clothes, but that was like just a really odd choice 
you've seen. No, I really like it. Why do you fake videos? <gasps> Like you say, you done an all-nighter when you didn't. There you go, so that's... All right. In that video, I literally said I fell asleep. Like, I never faked it. I didn't do an all-nighter. I literally fell asleep. The all-nighter I'd just done, stayed up all night. I stayed up until 1, 2 the next day when I fell asleep. And mum can even account for that. I did an all-nighter, not last night, the night before. Yeah. I don't fake videos. I admitted in my Christopher Fire assumptions that there's a couple of 24-hour challenges that I filmed, like, two or three years ago that were fake. But then I feel like that's just obvious. But all the food ones, I've always said to you, like, you watch me. I eat all the food. Like, the food 24 hours challenges how do you fake that when you've got to eat that food for 24 hours so no i do not fake all my videos that really annoys me actually that some people think that what's yours and julie's relationship with both of your dads 15 14 15 years i haven't seen my dad but it happens you know and i haven't seen my dad for actually it's not that been that long it's been maybe like two years i haven't seen my um stepdad for i don't know who my real dad is you do know who never met him well i know who he is but i never met him <laughs> No. But my stepdad I haven't seen for like two years. I love him though. I always will. Like I think I think the absolute world of my dad, don't I? I always sit and look at photos and stuff and I'm always me anyway, like I think the absolute world to him. I think he was literally the best dad to me. He was. Money. Mm -hmm. Go oh on. you like this one, didn't you? Oh I like this Go one. On. How much money did you make from your last dad? I can't remember what my last dad was. Probably might have been Tesco. Not telling you. <gasps> Someone put are you quite open with your mum about everything? Yeah, probably a little bit too open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even in the last conversation we were having, obviously I'm not going to say what, and even I was thinking inside, oh, Anna, steady. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you stop me then? Because you obviously wanted to talk. But... What are your opinions on my Instagram? I think it's a lovely Instagram, obviously. You're growing, so you're getting older. I don't actually see a problem with your Instagram, to be honest. I know you do show a bit of skin in that sometimes, but you're not got your boobs out on page three of the newspaper, have you? You know, and if you did choose to do that, that's your business. You know, I get mess I get messages and you know, have a word for your daughter about this, have a word for your daughter about that. Yeah. Tell, tell her. Yes, Anna. And it's like, hang on a minute, she's 20 this year. I'll go in your room, won't I, and say, Anna, you should be doing this, that or the other, don't mm -hmm. I? Right? People think I don't give her any advice. Load of rubbish. I give yeah. her advice all the time. But she doesn't always listen. What can you do? I can't do no more than that as the mum of a 20 year old. I, I think always listen to In answer to, to the question, your Instagram, I think your Instagram's fine. You show skin, but then so do thousands of other girls on there. What do I think of your Instagram? <laughs> oh, yeah. God, what do you think of my Instagram? I know, ripped it all apart the other night, didn't you? No. I gave you constructive criticism. Anastasia thinks my Instagram's not relatable anymore really like you. disagree with no, that no no no. i gave you constructive criticism because yep. i said people follow you because they love watching you be like a mum and love the mum life of like doing like poundland hauls and living on a bit more of a budget and like an affordable thing like that and i was like people love seeing that like you should carry on doing that because mum does that she doesn't show it as much anymore people don't always want to see a new dress that you've bought every single day because that's not relatable you need to rewear your clothes i know you have a problem with that because of everything that happens and i know you've always been brought up with that and not like, having new stuff and everything so i get it but I don't know, like, I, I just gave you constructive criticism, that was all. You are. So do you like my Instagram then? Yes, I like your Instagram. Oh, you like, she likes don't like Instagram your Instagram then. I don't like your lime skirt. <laughs> I really don't like that. But I like your Instagram. I think I don't like the filter. Sometimes you do airbrush your skin too much. And I have told you that. You know what? I never even well. airbrush. Do you know what I do? I get messages saying I face tune. I never face tune. Do you know all I do? Um, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's a big reveal now. The colour of each picture is the same. And that's because. You use a filter. I use Nordic. I like the cool tone. And that's all I do. I don't face tune. I haven't got face tune. I didn't tune. tell you face tuned. You have airbrush. But you do smooth your skin size. And I've said to you, I went, Mum, you literally look like a. Barbie doll, and you go, Do I look good though? But sometimes, and you've even admitted you have smoothed your skin that was lovely. a little bit too much. I think once I did for an ad. There you go, see exactly. I now you're coming I out and you're going, Oh, I've never ever face No, you. I think once I did for an ad, and I deeply regret that actually, I would never do that now. Do you have a close relationship with all of your family, e.g., cousins, aunties, uncles? You know, we saw each other, we'd say hello and be polite and that, but I wouldn't say like I'm particularly close to any of them. I mean, obviously, we do have quite a big family, but you just lose. We've actually got a huge family you just lose touch don't you is there a reason julie shaved off her eyebrows <sighs> i never shaved off my eyebrows i over plucked them i guess i went through a period of over plucking them and over the years they've just never grew back proper eyebrows. i guess how they were so i just draw them on and i use benefit browsings which suits me down to the ground and then that's it do you like anna's style and one thing you change about it and i know what you change do i like anna's style i would like to see anna but then that's probably because that's my style so what in a green skirt no imagine me frolicking around here in a green checkerboard skirt lime green i think it would look really good on you actually oh my god i think i would honestly i'd honestly rather do a lap of this whole thing butt naked and let everybody film than be seen in that skirt that skirt was really nice check out my instagram you'll see it i know one thing you change about my style yeah shoulder bags i hate 
You got it, show them. Yeah, I've got my shoulder bag down here. Oh, it's right. up there. Now, Anastasia has some beautiful designer bags. I'm not, and I'm not even saying that, that you always have to carry a designer bag because you don't. But she has some beautiful bags and she she can afford some nicer bags. Not necessarily designer, but she could go to Zara and get herself a nice bag. But she constantly uses these cheap little handbags, right? That look about five quid that you get from the market. Mom, right? On, but on. that is no Anna. You know how I feel. And she's constantly walking around with this short, and it's like, because it's fashion. You say it's fashion. Well, it is fashion. But I'll be honest with you, Anna. I'd love to see you in a nice little shoulder bag moment. I feel stupid. Don't get out of your bag. This is a Zara one. That looks like a beach bag. No, but it's not a beach bag, Anna. But it looks it. It doesn't. It's a well, sack. That's stylish. But I think shoulder bags are stylish. And so does the majority of my audience. That Comment bag, down below. Or, this, or my shoulder bags. Matalan. This is from Matalan. Wow, she really does say hashtag relatable. What's the brand deal you've done that you've hated the most? I did one with a brand and they took Are you gonna say? Absolute, I don't know if I can say. Oh, it, not the product then we're not saying. I don't know, what What do they mean? As in, well, I did one with a brand and they just took the piss a bit in the sense of like, oh, right. you normally only get one round of amendments. Well, that's what it was in my contract anyway. I had to refilm the studio three times because they weren't happy with it. It just became so unauthentic and I kept telling that and they weren't having like, they just weren't a very accommodating brand. There was this particular brand, but they weren't a big brand and that's probably why this happened. And they didn't want me to put ad oh, yeah. in my advert. Right? And I was adamant that ad was staying. It has to, it's a law. Exactly. And I told them that and I explained that. I put the advert up with ad. Then I find out a day later or whatever, my payment, they'd, what's the word? Um, like pulled it back from pulled, PayPal. Pulled my payment back from PayPal and caused a big issue within my PayPal. That's the worst brand experience like I've had. But like so they weren't like a big brand. The big brands, the bigger brands I've worked with have been lovely. I think this is quite interesting. Okay. Have you noticed with having more money in your bank, you buy things that you don't really need? I would sound the complete opposite. And I think you'd agree because I am so like, I'm not buying that. Can't spend that money. Mm. I'm so, and mum's always like, go on, treat yourself, spend it. Da, 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 da. But I'm so like, I want a house. I want a nice car when I'm older. I want to invest my money that I don't really buy myself. Apart from food, things. Would you agree? Oh, you have the odd splurge, Anna. The odd splurge. <laughs> I've bought myself the odd nice thing. But not like, like some people. I think some people would, would have spend gone stupid the money. with your money. Yeah, yeah, I think some people could have gone really stupid. Yeah. But instead, You've I'm very much like, which... all I talk to you about is building my yeah. dream house. That's why she does. This is how I want my house, Anna. Like, we were just talking about it yesterday, like how I'm planning my dream house and what I want in the garden. I and said what she I should have it like room. James Charles' house. Mum wants me to have it like James Charles'. I love James Charles' house. He's done it so have, nice. Like, 12 million no, to but go it's such good taste. You could, uh, you could do it like that with the wood and the plants. And yeah, I'm definitely going to have it very similar to mm. that style. Yeah, and I want like a pool and stuff. And obviously, this is not happening right now. This is hopefully going to happen in like three or four years. But I always talk about that as so, like, yeah, I'm programmed in the sense of like, don't spend your money because you'll need it for later mm. on in life. So I'll treat myself and enjoy it when I think I deserve it and go on nice holidays yeah. or whatever. But like in day to day life, do I splurge? Like, no, absolutely no. not. I'm really, really sensible with my money, mm. actually. Julie, mm. do you get annoyed when people believe that Anna? carries the family it used to annoy me but now it doesn't annoy me i'll just used to it you know it's just, just like a comment now that everybody makes it's, it's just, just like yeah it's all old isn't it? it it's all old like that eyebrows everything it's all old it's so old you know i like your eyebrows do you, would you want to get microbladed no i've had it this is it because so many people keep telling me as uh, sending me dms as jokes or whatever saying get your mum microbladed <laughs> no like believe me think, well, oh, no no, no okay microblading. let's clear that up if i wanted microblading i've got the money to pay for microblading if i wanted it anastasia does not need to buy me microblading for my birthday if i wanted microblading i could have had it 10 times over with offers i have had true of free microblading i have been offered free microblading microblading free this free that so many times i could sit here fully microbladed up fully mm, yeah if i'd wanted but i'd just Very say good. no to it all because i'm not that much of a high maintenance person it's like i like my nice skincare and i like nice clothes and i like you know i'll get my hair done every now and then i don't go nail salon like i've been offered like free nails and all, like, i don't go out of doing myself it's not that important to me i guess yeah. that and that's the bottom line of it it's not it's not that important so i've had people offer 
come to my house to do my eyebrows and other beauty treatments for me to go there and, you know not pay a penny but i got sent the other day the most amazing package from harrods um, and honestly i don't really look into high-end skincare or anything so i'm generally not really sure i know about that. it more than you yeah you do because you like take an interest in it i took what i wanted and said mum you can have the rest and she comes into my room right. now we must have heard some of us must have heard of i've cre heard cream Le Mer. Le Mer products. Le Mer. Le Mer, sorry. Skincare products. And I knew the actual original cream Le Mer was like five or six hundred yeah. pounds. You gave me the serum. What's it called? It's like a serum, basically. I looked it up and it worked out for that size about 150 pounds, this serum. And then I've got... There was um, a perfume that were like 200 I've got this quid. perfume. I mean, I've got nice perfume anyway, but this one in particular was 200 pound a bottle. I was and, literally in disbelief. You know, I wore that on... Um, I wore that on... Where did I go? I thought, I'm, I'm wearing that. I'm not wasting that. I I went to no last night i used the ordinary what they sent in the package as yeah well, the ordinary is fast. really good stuff oh my god i looked at my skin this morning and like my skin i've got like quite a few blemishes at the moment they've calmed down so much i'm generally mm. going to use it every single yeah. night now just to see if it actually makes a difference because byron swears by the ordinary skin yeah ordinary is who good. won't use anything else yeah. so i'm gonna did you tell them that. what happened with the addison lee tell them oh yeah honestly right this is actually crazy so apparently this guy had tried to deliver something before he told me he had this addison leave um, and as the driver, so driver basically turns harrods, up outside the house harrods had like couriered parcels to me so like they weren't but posted. it was literally he just got anastasia's harrods bags in the back of his van and there was in nothing like, else just an addison and lee. so they'd employed addison lee to bring anastasia's harrods beauty bags from harrods, harrods. obviously like, so like, addison lee went to harrods like, to pick them up and then and this is the second time he drove from london because yeah. nobody was in the first time yeah and i Beautiful literally couldn't believe stuff. it mum rang me because i was just on my way home and she was like you are not gonna believe one thing to get something through the post I texted uh, but... my manager and i was like oh my god you know about this she was like yeah but i didn't realize they were gonna like yeah hur like courier it to you yeah like, i was gonna post it yeah yeah it was so cool thank you so much harrod it literally made our day we Beautiful. were like we could not believe that entire night we were sat there looking at all the stuff like beautiful products absolutely I've got some amazing perfume now yeah i um, used some of that lemaire thing last night Night. Yeah, I know you did. I saw that. And you keep nicking my cleanse and polish. So, Lizelle, yeah. fresh she says, she says, I haven't got any face wash. She hasn't got any face wash. But you have got face wash, Anna. And I'll go to take my makeup off and I'll see my cleanse and polish is gone. And I'll be honest, it really annoys me. Because it's 15 quid. And it, it really rubs me up did the wrong way, I'll be honest. <laughs> did you see I tried to hide your cotton pads the other morning? That's why I bought some more. Then I'll snatch it back. All, oh, the, no. all the practical stuff, like cotton wool pads, razors, you don't purchase. So she'll always come into my bathroom. <laughs> my big bit of cotton wool pads, my cellar water, which I use every night, that's gone. I look to my left and I've got my little toiletry thing stand. I, I mean, my cellar water's always gone. But when it's the cleanse and polish that grates on me i just like i don't know why i need to buy my own i had my own i just used it all up and then when i think there's another one in the house i think well i might as well use yours before i go and buy my own that's all right if it's like a cheapo face wash 99p do you know what i mean you, you don't care you think oh yeah have it anna but when it's cleanse and polish when i went and got my cleanse and polish and my lizelle tonic water it was 34 pounds for the both of them. That's what I mean. I'm touchy about me, Lizelle, Anna. You normally always buy the essentials. I'm not used to buying them. That's why I need to grow up and move out. That's why you need to move out. So you yep. got. So when you go shopping, you remember to buy your razors, my your cotton, cotton wool pads, pads, my cotton buds, face wash. Yep. <laughs> that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I mean, I don't really know what this was. I feel like we were literally just chatting. Just chatting. Yeah, it felt like, like just chatting. Minutes, yeah, you'll edit it, wouldn't you? Maybe, or I'll keep it all in. Who knows? <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye bye